Hello friends! A few weeks ago I did a book review of how to draw cute chibi characters. And the last chapter is about coloring, something I decided to follow along. So I decided a post in the book that I wanted to draw for my original character Razor and then follow the, this step-by-step -step guide to color it. But I did not follow those steps fully. I combined those steps with how I usually render my drawings. I did the sketch in Procreate like I always do. I like sketching there. But once I was happy with it, I transferred the file to Affinity Designer on the iPad where I use the pen tool to do the line art and I never use complete black lines anymore and those lines does change over time too, matching the colors more to blend in. And because I use vector and pen tool, I go back later to control the line weight on them. Once it's all done, I use the pencil tool to do the flat colors. The most boring part of every drawing I do. Trying to find a faster way to do it, but no. With the flats all done, I used the gradient tool to make every section darker to lighter, make it a little more alive before adding some texture using the pixel persona. After all that, the rendering starts. In the book, they never mention multiply for shadows. They don't even mention if you should choose a darker color of the flat either. But in my rendering style, I always use multiply in shadows, so I did, choosing a warm shadow. I also use Gaussian blur to make it more soft in the FX panel. Later, it's light. Even there, they don't use layer modes or mention what kind of color you should go with, only that you should not use white. But for me, I use overlay and using a warm color again. I really do warm and warm, but this time I did. After I added some highlight using white. In the book, they mention to make the outline thicker, so I experiment with that a little. Did make it white? Did kind of look good? I don't know. Did you know you can support my work over at Kofi? With donation and membership, you gain some nice perks. You can also buy my wallpapers, but if you want to see all my new art first, the only requirement needed is a follow. Following the steps from the book ain't bad. They are pretty easy, but I prefer video tutorials because text and image really match. Info get lost. And they did not mention what kind of colors to use for shadow and light, so you have to find your own way to do it like I did. But I do like the poses they offer in this book. Everything in this drawing, I used Vector Persona in Designer 2, except for the texture. If you want to check out the review of this book, click the end screen right now. Until next time, happy drawing!